This video will cover the topic applying the quadratic formula decimal answers. What do you mean by the quadratic formula? A quadratic formula is one method to determine the roots of a quadratic function. Let us say we have a quadratic function of the form ax square plus bx plus c. Then the quadratic formula can be applied to determine the roots of the quadratic function x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. Why is there a plus or minus sign? Recall that the quadratic function has two roots. Thus, there is a plus or minus sign. One root of the quadratic function would be x equals negative b plus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a and the other root would be x equals negative b minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Let us consider an example. Let us say we are required to apply the quadratic formula and determine the roots of the quadratic function x square plus 5x plus 3. The first step is to compare the given function with the general form of the quadratic function and identify a, b and c that we are required to substitute in the quadratic formula. By general form of the quadratic function, do you mean ax squared plus bx plus c? Yes, that is right. Here, we find that a equals 1, b equals 5, and c equals 3. The final step would be to apply the quadratic formula and simplify to obtain the roots. x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a is the quadratic formula. Substituting for a, b and c, we get x equals negative 5 plus or minus root of 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 3 whole divided by 2 times 1, which equals negative 5 plus or minus root 13 divided by 2. Square root of 13 can be found out to be 3.60. Thus, the two roots are x equals negative 5 plus 3.6 divided by 2 and x equals negative 5 minus 3.6 divided by 2. Hence, x equals negative 0 0.7 and x equals negative 4.3. Okay, I think I understand the concept. In order to apply the quadratic formula, we first compare the given quadratic function with the general form of the quadratic function and identify a, b, and c. Finally, we substitute in the quadratic formula and simplify to obtain the roots. Perfect.